afternoon, everybody. Irish here with you. It is April 2nd, Saturday, April 2nd. Listen, we're into a new month. We're into a new month. New challenges, new wins, new losses. But listen, you can have a lot more successes if you're living in recovery. If you're living in sobriety, through a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, you have somebody to turn to. You don't have a physical, fleshly being telling you worldly ideas. You have a spiritual, mature being like Jesus Christ sending the Holy Spirit down into our lives to help correct us and help edify us and help build us up and help us, help us get refined down to what he needs us to be for our goal, for him, for his will, for us. April 2nd, meditation for today. Now remember, we're meditating on God's word as well. We're going to back this up with scripture, but we're, we're meditating on spiritual recovery literature that helps us set the table. It helps us set the table for, our, for drawing us near to God. It helps people come in, but we're not talking about God's word. That's separate. So we're going to read from this, and then we're going to back it up with scripture. Just for those people that don't know, meditation for today. Not what you do so much as what you are. That is the miracle working power. You can be a force for good with the help of God. God is here to help you and bless you, here to accompany you with you. You can be a worker with God, changed by God's grace. Changed by God's grace. Amen. You shed one garment of the Spirit for a better one. In time, you throw that one aside for yet a finer one. There we go. Refinement, right? And so, from character to character, you are gradually transformed. Prayer for today. I pray that I may accept every challenge. I pray that each acceptance of every challenge may help me grow into a better person. Amen. I pray that I may accept every challenge. I pray that each challenge, every, each acceptance of every challenge may make me grow into a better person. Amen. Let's get into some scripture, you guys. Chapter 4, verse 1. A father's wise advice. This was on my heart, so I'm reading from Proverbs. A, a father's wise advice. My children, listen to when your father corrects you. Pay attention and learn from judgment. And learn judgment, for I am giving you good guidance. Don't turn away from my instructions. For I too was once my father's son, tenderly loved as my mother's only child. My father taught me to take words to heart. Follow my commands and you will live. Get wisdom. Develop good judgment. Don't forget my words or turn away from them. Don't turn your back on wisdom, my friends. Sorry, don't turn away. Tur don't turn your back on wisdom, for she will protect you. Love her, she will guard you. Getting wisdom is the wisest thing you can do. And whatever else you do, develop good judgment. If you prize wisdom, she will make you great. Embrace her and she will honor you. She will place a lovely wreath upon your head and she will present you with a beautiful crown. My child, listen to me as, and as, do as I say and you will have a long good life. I will teach you wisdom's ways and lead you in a straight path. When you walk, you won't be held back. When you run, you won't stumble. Take hold of my instruction. Don't let them go. Guard them for they are the key to life. So that's Proverbs 4, 1 through 13. So, doof -da. So, some people grow up in a family where they received wise advice, where wisdom was modeled and taught by their parents. But if we haven't, we may feel like the rest of the human race has passed us by. Some of us feel anger, resentment, shame because we had little guidance and never learned how to make wise choices. We may ask ourselves, shouldn't someone have shown me the way? Ideally, all of us should have had wise and godly instruction. We didn't all have that. Sorry about that. Whoa, that was very, very unexpected. Some of us don't have guidance. We don't have wisdom in the flesh every day, whispering or telling us, giving us instructions in, in, in the flesh here in person. Listen, the guys, the Holy Spirit and, and the relationship with Jesus can fulfill that need and give us the guidance from the Father that we need. So when we look at that relationship, we look at it as, as, a, as a fatherly relationship, somebody who's guiding us, somebody who's teaching us, somebody who's, who's gracious enough to send us down the Holy Spirit so we can help live a just and right life. So if you're living in sin, ask for forgiveness, repent, and ask him back into your heart. Don't turn from the Lord. Turn from your ways and turn from the world. Thank you guys for all the birthday wishes. We're going to be going out to dinner here soon and spend some time with some family, but you know what? It's just another day, you guys, to give thanks and praise and honor and credit to the Lord because I would not be here today sober and have the time of my life spending it with my family sober and, and 39 years old if I wasn't sober and if I wasn't spending time with nurturing that relationship that has kept me sober. So I love you guys. God bless. If you need anything, you know where to reach me.